Hello there, this is the legend of Grimrock. We're going on a custom dungeon. So what we're looking for is the secret cove. Secret island, in fact, RC9. So this is the latest version. What's happening is, at the start of the game now, we've got various little options to uh, consider. At the start of the game you can ignore them, or you can sort of take advantage of them. So this is the secret code on the secret island. And we're now on release candidate 9, so basically the game's finished. This is the finished version of the game. It's all done and dusted, all you've got to do is find the stick. I can see it, it's just there. Don't worry, if you can't find it, you can still play it. Um, it's just a little bit harder. Still play it though. Still works. It's just you've got to do a bit more fighting. Obviously the stick is great if you can find it. Oh, blimey. Boy. Right, so if you have the stick, you just place it through the gates and this thing opens. Oh boy. Plus you can give you quite an advantage. The Minotaur likes the frost bombs and she likes the red potions. She also likes a hat and she likes some trousers. Come on, lady. It's the lady of the team. Where's the trousers? So we've got two fire bombs. Oh, this is just complete nonsense. We're going to put that in the nonsense tray. Uh, there's another fire bomb. Brilliant. So we like those sparklers as well. Oh, they're good. Those sparklers are good. Um, if you don't find the stick, then you still get to find this, but it's a bit later on. If you can get into it early, all that business it is quite an advantage. However, it doesn't stop you doing the game. You can still play the game. There's a secret button right here. You press it. This thing opens and we are away. Ooh, that has got a hurt. Look at that. Wiped him out completely. Ooh, nasty, nasty. <laughs> oh, they're fighting, they're fighting. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was a complete waste. Oh, I should have that. No, I can't have that. I can grab it quick enough. Right, we'll hold off on the bombs now, I think. It actually doesn't really merit it. We'll hold these bombs for the aquaphobes downstairs. Because downstairs a level, we've got a secret little training mission. Um, oh. It's tailing Charlie. Oh, we've run out. We've run out of fireballs. We've run out. We'll have the stick. We'll have the stick. That'll, that'll help. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I'll tell you what, if we go past it and grab this thing, we can biff him over the head. Oh, he's, he's on fire. He's on fire. That always helps. Now we're going to have a little sneaky snooze time. So this is where it comes in. Um, this is where it comes in. It's, uh, along this wall here, there's a secret button, or is it this one? There's a secret button there. If you press it, a nearby secret door opens, leading you to all kinds of shenanigans. Um, the usual thing is to put an item through the gate here on the other side and all this lot come out. Um, well, you can do that. In fact, we'll do that now. Just for the hell of it. Uh, it doesn't stop you from going on the secret training mission. Um, it, remember, it is a secret. So you press this button. Don't tell anybody. Because what you get down here is you get experience points. You get these little creatures here. Um, Painful. Nasty. These are the guardians of the sacred corridor. Uh, but what you can do is you can pop along here, grab a special knife. Instead of, uh, oh, I'll tell you, if you have any trouble with doing that, he's going to be so just ignore that fella. He's the leader. He's a bit more difficult to beat up. So if you can nip around the corner here, oh, these gates are closed, aren't they? Uh, it didn't quite work out according to the plan, did it? Has that opened it now? It hasn't. No. Oh, 
it has now. It has now. Right, so the basic plan here is to whip into this corridor here. Oh yeah, it's a nice little guy for that. The trouble is we're getting beaten up from behind. Oh no. Sheer luck as to... Uh, wait a minute, she's got one of those red ones, isn't she? Yeah, that's good luck. Right, don't really want to pay fatalities on the first five minutes. Nice little knife. How many of them are there down here? How many? The rat master's getting beaten up from behind. Oh no. What are we going to do? This is looking bad. Frozen one, I think they work for the creatures. That's better, that's better. Keep him happy. We had to use that there, we had to use that there because Rat Master was just about to flipping peg it. Yay! So you run along down to here, through the fake wall, pick up the fish, pick up the Iggy Noo Noo, pick up the special trousers, the trousers of power we called them. Um, oh my giddy gander, look at that! Wow! We have got a flame sword and a sack. Really? Over there. We're standing there, bloody hell, following our every bloody move. But you're in luck, because all you got to do is put the flame sword there. Oh, it doesn't work. What's that? Oh, I see. Oh, blimey, this could be quite bad. This could be. That was a mistake taking that. The whole flipping cure, wasn't that? Okay, we're going to have to use this one up. We're going to have to. We're looking quite bad. I think we'll have a little sneaky slip while he's flipping frozen. I don't know whether that works. They're doing a lot of missing, unfortunately. Yeah. Right, now, that gate comes down, and now you can sleep. Should have remembered that. And they all need levelling up. all need levelling up. Let's have a look. She is going to go on to light armor. What's he going to go on to? He's going to go on to heavy weapons. He's going on to alchemy. Except he's going on to double alchemy because then you can do the old um, poison potions, advanced potions basically. Um, so he's got throwing knives, good fish. So now, once you're happy, now. Put that in there, do that. Yeah, we've done very well. We have done very well. Um, so the next one's down, and he's crazy. Right here. Right, let's have Hell, I didn't expect that. I suppose I should have done that. They are atrocious, these things, aren't they? They really are. We got one of these. Oh, we got clothing. What's this? Oh, lovely old helmet. What is it? It's a rogue hood. It's very well worth having, anyway. Um, people in the front row would definitely appreciate that. One of these fantastic great flagons. Um, right, so we've got one of those potions for restoring somebody to health. Yeah, it's a bit of a cheat, but it's flipping brilliant on this little training mission. All this lot is completely optional. All this lot. As soon as you press that button um, in that corridor up there, the second secret button, all this lot is completely optional. You don't need to do any of it. But if you do, uh, you should save it regularly, to be honest. The blue is for the him. Oh, yes, these buttons around here are absolutely flipping brilliant. They do. Um, operate certain teleporters, so you can do another one, and that one's on. You can only have one on at a time, it's a rule. Um, it's down here. Oh my god, look at this thing. Wow! Oh my god, that is absolutely brilliant. So can he do these light spells yet? No, he can't. Okay. Oh, we've got, we've got some zombies coming our way by the look of it. Bloody hell. Oh yes, I'm glad, I'm glad he went up on heavy weapons, that bloke. 
doesn't have mine at all. He loves, look, he's, he's into it straight away, look. He's absolutely into it straight away. Yeah, look at that. Not bad. Oh, actually, if we'd have fought some of those skeletons up the top there, we could have their shields, couldn't we? That would have been good. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We will do a little save because we didn't we haven't saved at any point in the game. So this is release candidate nine. Yeah, we'll do a new save. RC9. Start. That's it. This is a real good place to save it. Right now we just go into the teleporter. And we've already got some great herbs to pick up. Which um the Rat Master is on level 2 alchemist anyway, so he can do a lot of advanced mixing of these herbs. This is a great place to find some stuff. Oh look, look at that! She's qualified on... Yes, she's qualified on light armor as well. Yay! Look at that! She can wear that helmet without penalty. Brilliant. Oh, they're getting a little bit hungry now. What the hell was that? Sounds like the hound from the basketballs. Lovely, all these are great to pick up. Oh, We've got a whole flipping team of these things now. Moving trees, it's tree. <coughs> That. Cool, that's a good find that was. Down that end of that corridor is a bloody good find. I think we have to move to the blue stuff. It's a bit easy to see. Got a really good weapon there. Right, a little sneaky sleep, I think. Whoops, that was a small one. This place is a nightmare. This place is a nightmare. Oh God, there's a whole pack of dogs out there somewhere. Wow. Oh, tame. What else is in here? No, it's just it's just those few. It's just those few. Um, the, these already. Oh my God, it's a flipping toad. Look at that thing. Um, and we haven't got any of those frost bombs. Charming. He's quite awful to fight, this thing. Oh, no. He is a nightmare. It really does help if you've got some bombs left. Should have saved some. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Look at him. Gross. He is gross. Oh, no. It's not what he does. He starts eating all your bloody stuff. Uh, what can we do? Horrible thing. Oh, he's starving. Look, give him some bloody food. Move that to the front, I think. Tough up this level. Bloody hell, that's tough going. It's a good thing we have one of those blue diamond things. Because that bloody frog takes all your sodding weapons. Nightmare. Yeah, we had to use up a few items there. She's coming on onto the hungry side. Eat the frog. God. So it's, you can weigh up whether it's actually worth coming onto this level because we've used up quite a few resources there. So is it actually worth coming in? Um, you can if you explore it enough. 
It's quite surprising what you can find. Um, oh look, fantastic trousers there, look. He's already got some fantastic trousers, so you don't need them. Uh, let's have a look at this plan. Uh, yeah. You do run into some horrendous enemies, that's the only bloody problem with it. Oh look. Another one there, look. Let's see, you get them togged out. It's like I come into a, a clothes shop. What is this? Look at that! What is she on? She's on... Oh my god, she's not qualified for it. But that would have been great. That would have been great if only she was qualified for it. She's too below that, but it's a great find. She's got a fantastic sword there. I absolutely love that sickle sword. Mind you, the fire blade's not bad. The fire blade is not bad. gone up, look, she's going up on to, look, she's on Light Weapons 2, and that Sickle Sword is Light Weapons 3, one more level, and she's qualified for it, and that is an absolutely superb weapon, really is, absolutely superb, that one, I've got to say, that's fantastic, that's a brilliant fight. <laughs> Flipping dog that was part of the pack was barking. Oh, yeah, that was a nice little fight. That was we did well there. So what is the? What's he going up on? He can go up on concentration. Oh, he can do light now. That's great. He can now do a spell, so we don't need torches anymore. He can now do. Oh, he's bloody starving again, isn't he? Have we, what food have we got? Well, we've got that food that we just picked up from that dog. Funny enough. Right, uh, this blue one's good. Pick up all the herbs you see, basically. Just pick them all up. Um, have a good old look round. Nice hat there. He's already got one. Um, no, he hasn't got one. Protection. Oh, it's unable to cast spells. Okay. Very difficult to. Uh, where are we going now? Let's look at the map. I think we're going out now. Not yet. Not yet. Nice one. Oh, blimey! Excellent. Doing a bit of food. We are going out of here. All the other dogs get us, I think. See, then now he can do. Oh. Nice one. Nice one. What's he going up on now? I think he's going to have to go up on armour, because we want him to have the old light armour. So if we are going back to where we started from. Which is that secret uh, line? What's that noise? Wow! Loads of those things. Now he can, he can go up. What's he going to go up on? Um, oh, yeah, he's got to go up on concentration because he wants to use the lightning rod. He wants to be able to use that lightning rod later on. So we are back into the sewers, which is where we were exploring before. And there's a couple of um, trapdoors down here. So there's trap door number one, which is right there. Uh, that lead, I think that leads you back to the cove. But there's another trap door here. This is like a mad one, and you, you can basically just try it out. But before we do that, why don't we go and try and get some more food? Back with these bloody things. A bit hard to find, but with a bit of luck, you can get some food out of it, which is the advantage. Right, um, did, did we get any food out of it? We did, we did, we did, we did. 
and there's other stuff to find as well so we've got to just see if we can get in a sneaky sleep <laughs> An egg. Lovely hard egg, lovely. Yes, small food. Brilliant. Right, and another little sleep, I think. Yeah, that's great. Right, so he's got this, he might as well have it, mightn't he? Been injured all this time. He's gonna have some of this stuff. Who else is hungry? No, they're all looking good. They're all looking good. Right, we are gonna go on that new trapdoor down. Um, I mean, there is other stuff to find actually. If you really thought you could uh, spare the time, you could pick a few more items up. But I tell you what, we'll skip it. We're, look, what you got to do is you got to leave some items here. Um, that you're not too bothered about because it's a situation where you've got to leave three items behind you can get them later um, like for instance this one ah! no! oh my god I think we'll save it <laughs> it's mad we should have saved it before we dropped down now you've got to complete the mission and you can't do it oh no gate two go on in we should have saved it up the top there because now we're like committed. You'll have to go back to the previous save. Right, he can do a spell. Light. Oh my goodness, what horrible sight to wake up to. Boy, oh boy. But now, um, we're either going to have to complete this mission hard uh, for the team in this present state. Have a little look around. It's obviously various things to pick up. Oh yeah, this is a good idea. I'm going to use one of those green ones, I think. There's another one here. Oh, that was that was quite good. Got away with that one. Thank goodness. There you go. That's it. Right, so let's do a little bit of exploring. Ooh, what's this? We've got another one of those throwing knives. Good. Um, right, so what is the situation with this? Oh, it's just a lever. Do the lever, and I suggest we do that. Oh, God. The boy, I've got a gun. What have we done? Oh dear, what was that? Oh no. Um, oh, it's a nice little shield here. Oh my god. See these heads? Basically, this is a clear channel. If you stay on this clear channel, you're not going to get any coming at you from that side. Uh, what the smeg is going on in here? Oh my god. Now you've got to collect all the items from the side of the alcoves. Shut it! Oh boy! So we've got a blue one, that's flipping handy. What is going on? Bloody hell! So, oh my god, I hate those things. Complete tribe of bloody rats. Um, I'll tell you what that comes What's that? What the mask? Bloody hell! Hello! Yeah, so here's, here's Christ, hello. Um, that's the exit gate there. I don't know what happens. Is that open now? No, it doesn't. Oh, God. Right, Christ, he's going on. Um, oh, no, it's Charlie. What is going on here? Yeah, this is a nightmare. Oh, 
far as we get to the Euphoria, well, it's because they're all coming out in a bloody queue. The idea is, you try and get into that place. Oh, God. No, it's a bloody we are in trouble. We can't actually move forward, we want to stand on there. We are stuck. Right, we're going to reload it. Load the game again. I'll show you what you can do to really speed things up. Um, and to win that level, uh, there's another way you can do it. So if you just end up in that situation with them all queuing to come out, you're stuffed really. That gate will never open. So this is the way to do it. So we come down here and we'll tell you what, we we'll grab these green ones. Because I'll tell you what, if you've got, because they're protection ones, you know. You don't even need to kill those mummies. Mind you, let's have some light. Right, so grab the old green ones because we're going to use it. Where's the lever to get us out of here? There's a lever here. I'm in the wrong place. Yeah, you go, look. Right, so now the gate is open. Break the green one, it gives us a shield. So now, when you're in there, you just shoot straight across. So that place where they're coming out. Just go straight across. Okay, is it this place? No, it's the wrong one. It's the wrong one. It's a dummy one. This is the one here, look. God, we're gonna get nothing like this same little situation. Yay, we did it! We did it! Right, that door comes down. I think you'll find that is Yeah look, the exit gate's open! Yay! But there's another one there. Now, what happens is, for every alcove that you haven't extracted the item, there's a gate in there stopping you going any further. So we've done really well. Actually, if you notice, the defences have stopped, which is a very good sign. So what you've got to do now is to um, pick up the other alcoves. And we are out of here, if that's what you want. I mean, the last time we tried to play it, there were just so many enemies. One more. So, oh my God, look, there's stuff to be had in there. Look, there is absolutely brilliant stuff to be had in there. There's a fruit, there's a fantastic axe there. Don't get bloody surrounded by them, otherwise, you'll be stuffed. But anyway, if you've got the courage to do it, there is stuff to be had. Uh, we want to get out of here now. Oh, that mummy's gone in there. Bloody charm, isn't it? that green one to begin, you know. So that's the way to play it, that's the way to do it, and um, if you succeed, what do you get out of it? Well, we got a nice little shield out of it, uh, I think that was basically it. There was more stuff you could get, but it's bloody dangerous. No two ways about it, bloody dangerous. So we're back into the usual, oh, oh it did work. Oh look, yeah, nice one. He can do loads of um, red stuff now, look. He's qualified as a double alchemist. So look, if you mix the red and the green, you get purple. It's anti-venom. So you can't mix the red and the blue, that does nothing. So... Um, right, red, all round, I think. Cool, that's a bit of an adventure. I mean, there's obviously... If you've got a team with bombs, basically, you probably get a bit further. But it's a nice little mission to, to kick off the game with that one. Uh, it's obviously, you've got to have a think about it and use the strategy that I showed to win it. But then again, you don't get much out of it, do you? That's the only problem with that. If you See, if you had some bombs from here, bloody hell, that'd be different, wouldn't it? That'd be bloody different then. So to get further out of here, you just press the button. You're back into here. 
yeah, so I mean you can go back down there again for another guy if you want. Uh, I think that's probably for another day. We'll leave that for another day, I think. So, if he follows us out here. See, if you get him to stand on this pressure, you stand on and it does nothing. It doesn't doesn't have any effect. Uh, but if you get these legs to come along and stand on it, we'll see what happens the minute he stands on it. Opens both gates. If both gates were closed, they'd both be open now. So that plate opens them all. So there is another little secret to be had along here. Press this button. Uh, we've got some nice bombs here. Look. It'd be great if we'd have had them down in that flipping place, wouldn't it? Uh, what's this one? Throwing dark. Good. That's it really, that's the way... Oh, it was here, look, we came, we came out of here. That's you can't get back in there now. Uh, which is a shame, because then you could go down a rifle to place. There's a lot down there to rifle as well. So when you pick up these fruits, don't forget that they're actually keys in a riddle. Because later on you get a little riddle that comes along. It says Lizard Man likes fruit machine. That's Lizard Man and that's fruit machine. And it solves a, a riddle. So like, keep these in your sack um, for keys. Um, so they are actually keys to open a door. Late, not too much later in the game. Too much later in the game. That's it really. Um, you can go on and on and on playing the game. Next time we go down here, this trapdoor is closed. Ah! Drop down, go down this one. They're all looking a bit flipping injured, aren't they? They really want to be in tip top shape, really. They want to be as fast as possible. So, that is, they are fast as possible. So, what you do is you come around here. Turn left and left again. You see the button here. And it gives you quite an advantage if you remember that. As you go straight in here and grab these things, it means a hell of a lot. Otherwise, I don't know how you're going to get through the game. It's going to be quite a flipping ball. Where is it? Oh, he's right on our tail. He's right on our tail. He likes doing those ice shards, so what you do is, you could energise these teleporters if you like. Uh, it takes you back to those piers. Um, so you press this button, that allows you to go back around the other side, but it's not going to help. This is what is you're really looking for. Yay! Look! You've got one of those wooden ones. Fantastic. Oh, more of these. Oh, look at that, six darts now. I like it, and one of, look, that is what he wanted. Riky O'Reilly, what is the matter with that skeleton warrior? Oh my god. It's a good thing we've got those blue ones, isn't it? Um, right, little job for us around the corner. Uh, you need to deposit four items that you're not that bothered about. Well, that's all right. Just put anything down, really, for the time being. You can always swap it over later. Um, rotate and walk. Here. 
line, but that was difficult. That was difficult. So this is the bit I enjoy most, this lot. <laughs> oh, the skeleton! The commander is gone! He's gone! He's gone! Oh, tell you what. That is quite enjoyable. Bloody, we've run out of those blue ones. Now what are we going to do? Flip it, Nick! That's taken half the team down. We've got the two front runners, that's the main thing. Those flipping skeleton warriors are amazing. Oh, I'll tell you what though. We've got his swords. I wonder how, what, what that plays out to. 8 to 24. Well, there's not a lot of difference, to be honest. Not a lot. Um, the only thing is, because we've lost the... Because we've lost the old matey boy, we, we're now in the flipping dark. Um, what happened here? Did we put down um, a torch? No, we didn't. Right, okay, so we are literally down to two people. Well, don't be put off by that. Because just there is a blue one, and a red one, and a green one. So we can actually use the blue one. We are back in business. We are back in business. And that skeleton commander bloke is gone. So he can't rustle up any more of his stupid bloody teammates. Look, like this bloke. So what you do is you pull this bloke round. Crikey, he nearly took he nearly took out the, the wizard there. Look, this is what I love. That is so enjoyable. <laughs> that is absolutely brilliant. So the thing that you can do up here now, now that we've got the team back, is and don't forget it's quite an important bit. Jump up to the top here. We've got some bombs ready. You need to get this gold key. This is gold key one of three. Um, you can't get through there quite yet. Uh, there's a few more little odds and sods. More darts. A fantastic sack. And don't forget this one just here for the Minotaur. We've got a bronze brace. So now you've got the gold key. The thing to do now, as soon as you've got the gold key, is to save it. Save the game at the gold key because you would more than likely be able to see that there's a gold lock right here which is of course a red herring because this is for the third gold key. This here is for the third gold key, not the first one. So as soon as you put that in there, from now on you're just wasting your time because you're, not, you're gonna lose all the game progression, it seems like you come to the right place, but in fact, all a complete joke. All of the bridges get activated by levers on the other side of there. If you noticed on the other side of there, there's two levers and they activate those bridges, which then become solid so that you can walk on them. But there's some absolutely amazing stuff in here. I mean, look at that. That is a lightning but Oh look, there's that sickle sword again. So you can have two sickle swords. The miner can have one and um, the shadow can have one. But uh, up here, this is obviously the wrong flipping time to come on this level. Completely the wrong time. There's a, there's a bronze key there, look. Look, now we are stuffed. Oh, we've got no more of those blue ones, have we? Right, oh well, that's that. Oh, Blythe, thank you for coming along with me on this wonderful...